Well, according to my weather station at home, we got about 0.6 inches of rain last night, or yesterday afternoon and evening. And uh, I couldn't seem to find anything that seemed anywhere near accurate for Livingston, but uh, I figured the eyes are usually the best indicator of where things are at moisture-wise. And uh, it looks like we got some good rain. So I think that these plants that are still alive will have a chance to continue filling tubers. And that's good because then we can size up those potatoes even more. I'm very curious how big they are on the living plants here. But again, I don't want to dig anything up until the season is done. So I'm just up here to collect the turmeric and bring that back to be prepped and brought back into the lab or stored over the winter or managed in some way for next year because the deer are just chewing the crap out of it here and that's not going to do any good for anything. So I thought I would just get a shot of these after the rain. If you remember how wilty they were yesterday or maybe a pull up a clip from yesterday right uh, before the, the rain. stuff up here in the rock section of soil here was very dried out a few days ago when I was here. And I just don't think they're going to pop back up. So I thought I would grab a sample. Dragon Agriculture 61. Uh, they were very wilty, kind of laying down. And now they've perked back up since the rain. And we'll just take a look at this soil here since this is a great opportunity for us to see how much moisture we actually got. Yeah, and you can see that soil is dark again now. Not all, not super deep down, but like a good three or four inches. And that should be enough to support good root growth. And that's awesome because that means that these potatoes that still have green on them will have an opportunity to keep filling fruit or filling tubers as it may be, as the case may be. And that's good. All right, so I'm going to pull uh, at least the smaller stuff of the turmeric because you can see that they're they actually been digging it up out of the ground at this point and destroying the whole plant. So, uh, and what they haven't dug out down on this end is, I mean, they just keep chewing it back. It hasn't even had a chance to grow. Like here, they yanked it out. So I'm just going to pull it out, bring it into a crate, bring it back, and figure it out from there. i got to get some fencing in for next year. And I don't know how we're going to do that yet.
September 11th, 2024. Haven't been up here in a few days to get a check-in on things, but uh, thought I would stop in and have a look and see how things are doing. We definitely are reaching the end of the season, but man, we still have some good green growth going on here. That last rain helped really carry things along a little bit further. But it's basically time to start on harvesting. Uh, and let's see, I think we're at 95 or 98 days, somewhere in there. And uh, yeah, so we had a pretty good season, as far as I can tell, on potatoes. And uh, I got to get up here and do some digging. I'm going to be doing a lot of digging <laughs> and harvesting. So uh, our buckwheat is still in flower here, but everything else is pretty much there. So I don't know. I guess we'll have to see how we did this season. A little further down here where things were a little slower earlier season, there's a little bit of green left, but Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's uh, it's time. I guess this weekend I'll uh, get started. I guess I'll just give you a very quick clip of the tomatoes in the upper block here. <laughs> Obviously the deer have just been chewing on those plants too. And it is what it is. I knew that was a uh, distinct possibility and risk going in uh, with no fences. And I knew I wasn't going to be able to do fencing this year. So um, it is what it is. Interesting to see this uh, turmeric doing so well. And I see a ginger down in there peeking up. So maybe we'll be able to salvage some of those back to the grow lab. Or maybe we'll even get a little bit of yield out of some of them. I'm not expecting much, but we'll see what we get. And that holy basil is in full flower and seed mode i'm sure this area will grow lots of holy basil next year regardless of whether i plant any or not so all in all uh i can't say i'm disappointed with this season given all the challenges and the fact that we cut new farmland um so far, so good. We'll see how the potato harvest goes. Uh, not as much as I wanted to get done this year, but uh, I have a tendency to be pretty ambitious and I can't always come through on what I'm ambitious about. So uh, I'll take it as an overall win for the season. It's great to be back on a piece of land and farming again. That That's a win all by itself. And I have lots of other things to be grateful for. And so I'm just going to enjoy that and uh, enjoy harvesting these awesome potatoes and plan and prepare for next year. You always reap what you sow.